I see what it wants me to do. I see. Hey guys, how you doing today? Welcome. Welcome back. It has been it's been quite a week for me. So I basically was still fighting to not have internet, so I wasn't able to stream Skyrim, but I was playing on the side. But not the point. We're doing late night Tumblr today. It is scalding 90 degrees where I live right now. Um, it's hot. So fans are all on, so you might hear them in the background. I've got, <laughs> got coffee right next to me and water so I can stay hydrated and that nothing dies inside of me while reading this show. Hello, everybody. How are you all doing on this fine weekend? Happy birthday, Stitch fan. Many more years of joy for you. So let's see, wait for everybody else to come in and I'll recap. Sound for the man with the voice again. I know! Everybody's excited when the man with the voice comes in. Yeah. It's 40 there. Damn, where are you at right now? I'll take that 40 degrees right now. Jesus. Oi, yay. Oi, yay. Okay, so. In the comfort of my own house, doing late night Tumblr live once again. So, how about we just go ahead and jump in into the madness? What do you say? I say it's go time. Power armor is basically a fursuit for people who want to be robots. Shut, shut up. How dare you? I mean, I mean, it's not wrong. It's not right, but it's not wrong. Okay, this is, this is, this is looks like a JoJo's. This looks like a JoJo's. Let's see. A very powerful American toad ripples in the water and is cold. <laughs> Microblogonism. So Iron Man is robot furry. I mean, yay. Uh, are you on your phone? No, I'm actually on my iPad that's linked up to this. Uh, there might be a cropping issue. Hold on, I'll do- I can multitask while doing this. Hold on, let's see here. Uh, filters. Uh, let's reduce that to 600. And then reduce that to 600. There we go. Done. Hey, Bone Daddy Reaper, thank you for the subscription. Also, I love your name. That's a good name right there. What is this one? Okay. Re okay, apparently there's a part two to this? Uh... Never mind, okay. Regarding last post, that doesn't exist here, apparently. Okay. The article mentions that some places use clams to test the toxicity of water. It's like that in Warsaw. We get our water from the river, and the main river pump has eight clams that have triggers attached to their shells. The water gets too toxic, they close, and then the trigger shuts off the city water supply automatically. The clams are just better at measuring water quality than any man-made sensors. Wait, so... So, what? They basically have clams that are machines? Is that what this is trying to tell me? That's pretty cool. God bless our troops. They hot glued a spring to a clam and gave it full control over the water supply. That's incredible. I love it. Creep candy is howdy. Welcome. All right, then. Moving on. Okay. The official Jedi view on politics is that they try not to interfere and do not trust politicians. But if they are running out of options on how to settle an issue, they will tell Padme Amidala what is going on and then just unleash her into the problems. Jedi crowding around an Obi-Wan flips coin. Hi, uh, Padme. It's us again. Listen, listen. We need you to go fuck some shit up, please. Thank you. Bear guy. Thank you for the subscription. And you're in late night Tumblr madness. Welcome. <laughs> if it works, it works. Yeah. Uh, oh. Oh. He does not know. Oh. Hello. That was no. Apparently the kitty blepped so hard it's fucking up my capture card. That's great. Don't move. Okay. The power of the blep was too strong. Go look at this blep. That's a good blep right there. We cause space and time to riff. Look at that void kitty. He is adorable. And he does not know. 
know what? The economic state of America. I think he does know. I think that's a face that says, Great Googly Moogly America fucked. America so gone. So gone. Oh my god, is that a cat or a sheep? It's a shit. Please don't call it that, please. Alright, a shit. I mean, it's adorable. It's cute. I want 20. I don't care if it's got a stupid name. I want 20 of those babies. I don't think it's cropping up top, so let's uh, sh shrink that down a little bit. Oh, no. Now you know I use an iPad. Fuck. Hey. Okay. <clears throat> I have NPC energy. Because most of my replies consist of, okay, nice. Hell yeah. No. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, and fuck. More reasons I'm an, OP an NPC. If I stand still for too long, I start doing idle animations. I will only talk to people as I start a conversation first. My walking speed is too fast to be walking and too slow to be running. If you talk to me too many times, I start repeating dialogue. If you do a small favor for me, I will follow you around without questions. I will drop a lot of exposition if you ask. Sometimes I get stuck on doors. You may stand straight in a f you may stand in a straight line from me, holding a corpse, but it's more than 10 meters, so I will not notice. And low HP. Yeah. Shit, man. Shit, that's... Mood. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Big mood. Very big mood. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. Oh, God. What is happening? Why is everything transcending space and time? Stop it. Stop it. Get some help. I have to like stand completely still. Oh no. Amy, why did you send a picture? No, Amy. Oh, Amy, no. Amy, no, why? Okay. Blame Amy. Children playing with bobbies and media. This is Sally. She's the mommy. She loves fashion, swimming, and she drives a convertible. She has a baby with Ken, and sometimes they kiss. Or, look, I ripped Barbie's head off. Ha ha ha, oh boy. Children playing with Barbies in real life. This is Aurora. The fallen goddess of the sky. Okay, this needs re this requires effects. Hold on. This is Aurora, the fallen goddess from the sky. She has been banished from her kingdom and bound to a mortal body by her sister, who rose to power by human sacrifices. She now leads an army of cannibal water spirits who eat men, and sometimes they have orgies. They dismembered a traitor and kept her head on a popsicle stick as a warning to others. Aurora can turn into a wolf and uses battle magic to paralyze her enemies. The king of the stuffed animals developed rabies and she had slayed him to slave the people. But they do not understand that it was an act of mercy and kindness. And they are sending assassins after her for regicide. This is Aurora's soulmate, Crystal. But her soul is trapped in a gemstone while an evil spirit pilots her body and attempts to murder her friends. Hey, what the fuck anime is this and why do I want to watch it so badly? Damn. Damn. Okay. Another common plot element in my games was wildness survival. My god sister and I would get into big fights about things like whether red candle wax was raw meat or cured meat and we would use as the rations for sea forage or if we had to find something else to use. It seemed weird to recycle the same props for food and we had previously used for battle gore and entrails. Why does everyone's childhood playtime involve such epic shit and mine involved rampant Pokemon incest in <laughs> a car accident? Um... You want to run that last statement by me again? The fuck does that say? Damn. Okay. Let's see. Brain. You're a horrible, worthless garbage person. Your life is going nowhere but to hell. Me. I don't know what the fuck you expect me to do about that at 11 p.m., though. Seriously. That's also... <laughs> big fucking mood. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. I like the chat's picking up on the Pokemon one, like... What? What the hell is happening? Okay. Let's see. Y'all, Peter was able to stop Bucky's fists in Civil War because Bucky heard Peter's voice, realizing he was a child and weakened his punch because he was so worried about hurting a child. Ooh, ooh. 
Y'all know Peter can canonically lift up. Oh, me eating pistachios. Hold on, I gotta do this. This is acting. I gotta do it. You know, we're all Peter can canonically lift up some black tons, right? Y'all know Bucky's fish is easily as hell for Peter to block, right? Y'all know Bucky didn't know shit up Peter reading a child and was just shocked that someone's able to easily block his punch, right? Y'all know that, right? Nah, fuck that. Bucky's punch aren't easily to block. It's way funnier if Peter blocked a full force punch from Bucky, who only knew a few seconds later realizes he's a kid as soon as Peter opens his mouth. Siri! Get the fuck out of here. That's the face of a man who went from holy shit, he blocked my punch to holy shit, a 12 year old blocked my punch in three seconds flat. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. You're onto something here. I think we're onto something. This is a good, this is a good point. Let's see. Uh. Okay. Let's see. Sango, I just discovered how fucking large Alaskan moose are. They're ginormous. You know, Kara could totally still lift like one like a lab dog. That's what I'm thinking about right now, Kara having a pet moose. Hey guys, I'm back. This is Nugget. I love him. Look at that face. Oh, man. Take this opportunity to pet the baby moose. Look at that face. Take this opportunity. Do it. Got it? All right. Beautiful. Mm, let's see. The Shape of Water needs to be part of a series on monster romance. <laughs> the Shape of Water, Merman Boyfriend. The Shape of Fire, Hell Demon Fiance. The Shape of Earth, Bog Creature Wife. The Shape of Air, Thirst trap mothman the shape of shadow <laughs> the shape of you ed sheeran listen i'm a monster fucker but ed sheeran is where i draw the line <laughs> god i love it i love it uh head bugs because i have a lot of channel boards i present sienna with flower crown good idea or best idea best idea indeed I love it. Oof. That was a good good eye bleach after reading that. Alright. D&D &D spell. Vicious Motra. Motire. Matria. Matra. Summon as an enraged balding Canadian to improv melee damage at your enemies. Roll for comedic effect. <laughs> if you battle if you have a bag of holding, you can give him two items to use as props. <laughs> I love this. Oh my god. Mockery. Mo! Vicious mockery. That makes sense. Okay. Got it. Um. Okay. So my roommate and I got these Rudolph Christmas books a couple weeks back. Since it's finals week, I wanted to ease my mind into studying for color, uh, by coloring. First time opening the book, I saw this picture, and I thought to myself, Oh god, do I try? <laughs> oh my god, do I try? I try every time to be a Rudolph. Yes. Um. Welp, your admin just banned me from posting a screenshot of a Tumblr post from one of your videos. Your video. Okay. Bear guy, I'll look into that. I'm sorry. I swear to God, if I get Tumblr famous over the stinking He-Man, the meme knows right here. Uh, guess what? Smorgasbord. You're on Late Night Tumblr Post Live. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your life is set, my dude, my dudette, or my non-binary dude. My dude. My dudes. You're good. Oh, what? 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 what the fuck? 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 It's just... It's just living sideways! killing me inside <laughs> yes hello i would like to purchase this baby i present to you game <laughs> i enjoy 
him checking the baby out at the front desk. I can't verify that this was indeed his baby. I have, I have so many questions. I need a drink real badly. Hold on, Jesus. Wow. Oh, oh, baby, baby. I want to clip that, but it's extremely long. Okay. Walking around with your arms like his goblin core. Mm. I mean, I do this all the time, so I guess I am indeed goblin. Cool. Okay. If I was in the Hunger Games, I'd get a McDonald's as a sponsor, but instead of just eating the Big Macs they'd be sending me during the games, I'd use them as bait to trap people, and every time I'd make a kill, I'd look up to the sky and give a thumbs up and whisper, I'm loving it. Why is this still circulating? Because it's brilliance! It really is. Damn. Damn. The fastest way to end a Hunger Games, really. Okay. Why are the wise wizards and witches in the party is always posh British people and never like an Australian mage? The artifact we stole appears to be celestial in origin. Too fucking right, mate. <laughs> Out back, mage. Stuart, this place is jack is with ripper materials, components, casting spells is going to be a piece of piss. Magic shop attendant trembling. Sir, I don't speak extra planner language. <laughs> Please just buy things and go. <laughs> That's great. Oh my god, I love that shit. Oh, it's beautiful. I don't know who's still alive in this house, but I just heard someone walk up the stairs. Awake! I meant awake! No, it's too late. Everyone in your house is a ghost now. It's just gone. It's just straight up gone. <laughs> Sips, slaps Gatorade out of computer nerd's hands. You didn't earn those electrolytes. This is the last thing. Oh, get that out of there. This may be the last thing they get to slap or see. I wish a fool would do that and hit my computer. I pay for my own Gatorade and uh, do it with whatever the hell I like. Oh, that was. Oh, it was response to the door. Okay. Well then. All right. Uh, let's put on do not disturb mode so I stop getting that shit right away. Okay. Say what you want about Soul Leader, but nothing properly conveys the same emotion as the face people make after interacting with Excalibur. Y'all ever felt this? Or this? Or this? Damn, those are some big ass ears. Damn. All right, give me one second. I gotta, for some reason, I don't know why I'm getting the notifications. Uh, I swore I shut that off. Uh, never, okay, got it. So I just, just, just embarrassing. It's just embarrassing. You guys have got my emails and everything. Okay. All right, moving on. That's the same. I'm all the way back down. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lemon. Lemon. <laughs> I can't with this. I just love this. Lemon. <laughs> Um, oh my god! It's adorable. It's a homebee! Oh my god! <laughs> these are bee flies, harmless to everything else. These precious little cutie pies sneak their eggs into beehives where their larvae can parasite bee larvae and eat their food reserves. Simultaneously adorable and insidious. <laughs> insidious. <laughs> That's why they're the fairy types. Oh, they are fucking phase. Look at them. I will gladly die for these two. Beautiful. Okay. So that's what Cutie Fly is based on. I love it. I love everything about it. They look like actual Pokemon. That's adorable. Okay. Puts on wizard hats. Yeah, your hat's cute. Put on a cowboy hat. Thank you, solidarity. There's a hamburger on my head. Oh, I have a flower. I love this so much. This was wholesome. This was a good one. Kev, Kev Brinks, you did good today. You did very good today. God bless. I like it. Okay, close it. I uh, hang on. I was not prepared. What is that? Is there, is 
a pop car? Is that, is that, is that, is that legit to cars? Is that a legit thing that's in cars? Pop car's real? Pop car's real? The fuck? Okay. Look what you can buy. <laughs> there is a Pope in the Cars universe. That means that there is Catholic Christianity, which means there was a Jesus car who was crucified. Jesus Chrysler was crucified by car robots under Pontiac Violet who washed his wheels. A car was nailed to a cross and descended to heaven. I can't. I can't. I want to see for the God above and the hell below. I want to see Jesus Chrysler so badly right now. Somebody conceptualize that art, please. I know I'm going to die looking at it, but fuck. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Take the red pill. Take it. Fuck both of you. That's okay. For those of you who don't understand this, A, it is Twitter. B, Lily Wachowski was one of the creators of The Matrix. So, of course, they would tell both of these people to fuck off. God bless you, Lily. All right. Oh, okay. 80% water, 20% pizza, and 100% swag. That's 200%. I am twice the man you'll ever be. Yee. Yeah. Yee. Yeah. What does the red pill do? The red pill awakens you into the matrix. Sort of like uh, being woke in that movie. All right. I don't think Goosebump books ever came to print. I think they just mis mystically appeared in public school libraries one day already in mediocre condition. This sounds like the plot for a Goosebump book about Goosebumps books. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Fuck. That sounds good. Also, that's a very good point. I never thought about that. Uh, let's see. And getting the sniffles. Yeah, that's my, my one curse. If I start laughing too hard, I get really sniffly. It's bad. I don't know why. It's just like all my sinuses clear up. <laughs> if someone gave you $200 because you're ugly, would you take the money? Absolutely. I'm ugly, not stupid. Exactly. I may be ugly, but I'm $200 richer, so who really lost you? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. It's good. Uh, let's see. That's a long one. Okay. It is about things. Okay. <clears throat> These were actual re complaints received by Thomas Cook's vacations from dissatisfied customers. They should not allow topless sunbathing on the beach. It was very distracting for my husband who just wanted to relax. On my holiday to go in India, I was disgusted to find that almost every restaurant served curry. I don't like curry food. We went on holiday to Spain and had a problem with the taxi drivers as they were all Spanish. All right. The, we booked an excursion to a water park, but no one told us we had to bring our own swimsuits and towels. We assumed it would be included in the price. The, beast, the beach was too shady. Sandy. Sandy, not shady. We had to clean everything when we returned to our room. That's, that's kind of how beaches work. Uh, we found the sand was not like the sand in the brochure. Your brochure shows the sand was white, but it was more yellow. It's lazy of the local shopkeepers in uh, Porto Vallartardo. Vallarta, Vall Vallarto. Oh, God, I fucked that up anyway. Closed in the afternoons. I often needed to buy things during siesta time. This should be banned. No one told us where there. No one told us there would be fish in the water. The children were scared. Although the brochure that there was a fully equipped kitchen, there was no egg slicer in the drawer. I think it should be explained in the brochure that the local convenience store does not sell proper biscuits like custard creams or ginger nuts. The roads were uneven and bumpy, so we could not read the local guidebook during the bus ride to the resort. Because of this, we were unaware of many things that would be made our holiday more fun. Oh my god, there's more. Oh, this hurts to read. Why? <laughs> okay. It took us nine hours to fly from Jamaica to England. It took the Americans only three hours to get home. This seems unfair. 
I compared the size of our one bedroom suite to our friend's three bedrooms and ours was significantly smaller. The brochure stated no hairdressers at the resort were trainee hairdressers and we think they knew and made us wait longer for the service. When we were in Spain, there were too many Spanish people. Okay, hold up. When we were in Spain, there were too many Spanish people there. The receptionist spoke Spanish. The food was Spanish. No one told us there would be so many for. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. We had to line up outside to catch the boat and there was no air conditioning. <laughs> it is our duty as a tour operator it is your duty as a tour operator to advise us of noisy or unruly guests before we travel. Oh my god. Perfect. This this just this the caucasity. I love it. Okay. I was bitten by a mosquito. The brochure did not mention mosquitoes. And finally, my fiance and I requested twin beds when we booked, but instead we were placed in a room with a king bed. We now hold you responsible and want to be reimbursed for the fact I became pregnant. This would not have happened if you put us in a room that we booked. Hold on, I need to, let me read that one more time. I just, I, I need you guys to understand where this, what, okay. Maybe put on the echo for emphasis. My fiance and I requested twin beds when we booked, but instead were placed in a room with the king bed. We now hold you responsible and want to be reimbursed for the fact that I became pregnant. This would not have happened if you had put us in a room that we booked. They are blaming the hotel for their thirst. The fuck? <laughs> Fucking god damn it. I hate this. I hate this so much. The caucasity, indeed. Wow, okay. Oh, that was a trip. Okay, this baby owl hit our window. Gave us this look the whole time. You force field displeases me. Okay. Oh, then this needs echo. Your force field displeases me, as does your interior decorating. Jesus Christ. That is a condescending face, like, mm, white on brown? Really, Sharon? That's what you're going for? Oof. Okay. My favorite part in Orwell's writing is when he described anime glasses flashing in 1945. Okay. I'm ready. A feeling which suddenly becomes stronger at moments when the light catches the speaker's spectacles and turns them into a blank. Yes. 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 Perfect. Uh, middle 199, thank you for the uh, subscription. Much appreciated. Oof. Starting to get that, uh, getting them sniffles again. The, uh, the caucasity thing really kind of drained it back, but okay. Remember the four Gs. Gambling, gender confusion, getting run over, and graffiti. Remember them. Remember them in your heart. Okay, my brain is fired. I mean, fried. You know what? My brain is fired, too. Collect your things. I've had it with your shit. Get the fuck out of your brain. You suck. Love it. <clears throat> okay. All right. So, people, if we're walking together, please take into consideration my tiny legs. I can't keep up with you. Please think of my tiny legs. I don't want to be jogging to keep up with your leisurely stroll, you titans. You know, just get a pair of roller skates and hang on my sleeve. We don't have all day. My god. I need to draw this. I have to. It's it's in my blood. I have to draw this. You know what I'm characters I'm incorporating this, but I have to draw this. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> We're at the halfway point. Good, because I can already feel my soul dying. This is great. When my mom took care of babies, my favorite story is about how this toddler named Eli, who took a while to talk, and everyone was concerned about it, but one day my dad was like, Eli, can you say car? And he looks at my dad and says, yes I can, why do you ask? My ex-boyfriend's first words was, mother, 
followed by, I'd like another bottle of milk, please. Kids who don't talk until they can bust out a whole sentences are the fucking greatest. I love it. That's great. <laughs> Mother, I'd like another bottle of milk, please. In that voice, in that tone, these kids are powerful. Yee. I love it. Alrighty. Um, write your name. Oh, right. I am your name, god of, and let predictive text finish your sentences. All right, let's see what we got. I am Oran, god of the most important thing. I am Magpie, god of y'all. I am Jay, god of gays and lesbians. And I am Goblin, god of God. Why are all these moods? Why are all of these moods? These are all great. Yay. Yay. Okay. I donate blood in the hopes that my blood will overpower theirs and take control of their body, so I will gain another vessel to use my own. Why am I reblogging this? It appears my blood has been successful. Yes. Yes. Blood bending is. Oh, okay. That's that. That is indeed a really long fox. You know, it's definitely not two foxes chasing each other. It's got to be one fox. That's how it works, right? Um, if you notice, the fox part on the left has front legs, and the fox on the right has hind legs. That's eight legs. Obviously, this is a spider, not a fox. Follow for more science facts. Wow. Oh, grub harder ass. Hey, PM, Marshall or Raymond? Um... Marshall. I like the squirrel. He's cute. Okay. Um... Uh, <laughs> This was my desktop background in 2004. It's just a guy riding a long motorcycle with the motorcycle photoshopped out. Bruh. Bruh. He's dragonborn. Oh my god. Uh, I am peddler of chubby cat fix. Pray show me your wares. Beautiful. I will take six. Look at that bean! Look at them beans! Shit, those are some beans! Man! Love this baby. I love it. Oh, okay. I found these pictures on Google and I'm laughing because it's like Arceus is just so annoyed at the three children screaming. That's basically the entire plot of Diamond and Pearl. Angry, 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 disappointed. That's the worst feeling. All right. God's pissed. Okay. Oh, I read that one already. Uh, I think. Um... This is what it, like, it looks like when a magical girl transformed from the villain's point of view, and I'm just shitting myself. No wonder they'd never do, do anything to stop them from transforming. They probably just stand there like, the fuck is happening? So that's real. That's that's literally it? I read something before, like, the Sailor Moon transformation sequences kind of were like the same thing, but like, you definitely couldn't interfere, or else you would die trying to stop them. I don't, I think, I think that's what it is. I just don't know. It's, that is kind of cool animation, though. Just like, you can see everything that's happening and like where the budget all went in this one shot. It's right there. You see that? That's where all the budget is. That's why nobody else has eyes. And that's why those guys look like abominations up there. It's great. <coughs> Pardon me. APM, your videos have saved me from the darkest times of my life, so thank you. I'm glad to hear it. Take good care of yourself. Okay. How did the villains figure out they would die? That's a good point. I didn't think about that. Hmm. Maybe they had one off villain that just like threw himself into it. I never tell people off the bat that I'm gay. I wait until they say some homophobic shit and then I laugh and I'm like, you know I'm gay, right? And watch the look of terror on their face. You, I like you. Now that, that's good shit right there. That's some good shit. That is some good shit. Oh, uh, chair? Chair? Why Why is the knight using the chair? This is one of the photos that you scroll past, and then, like, three posts later, you, like, hold on. That's <laughs> fucking hilarious. And scroll back up to reblog it. <laughs> oh, God, the chair! Use the chair! I love it. It's great. Okay. 
My body may be a temple, but I am the god to whom it is devoted. Do not presume to tell me how I may decorate my altar. Now that is good body positivity shit right there. I like that. It's good. Rin, I wish you gave credit to uh, fucking who did it uh, so we could track that one down. But uh, no. Okay. Even they called you out and I said it's crap. Alrighty. Well, let's see. Let's see here. Okay. Um, have you really thought about how when you look at the moon? Oh, shit. I hate when I touch that. Have you ever really thought about when you look at the moon? It's the same moon Shakespeare, Marie Antoinette, and Van Gogh and Cleopatra looked at. They all looked at the moon. They're all dead. The moon is killing people. Wake up, America! Oh, my God. You take the moon and you take the moon. You take the moon and you take the moon! Oh my god. Let's see. Less arguing about shipping more Chernobyl catfish. My closest name is named Bora. Oh. That's beautiful. That's, that's a big boy. Yeah, he's a big flat fucker right there. I like him. Seen this before. Uh, I have to go, but just know that you're awesome. Keep doing what you do. Thank you, man who has no plan. I hope you have a plan someday. All right. Let's see. Hey, happy birthday to everyone who's having in a pandemic month. I hope your day still manages to be special, and I promise next year will be much easier. We should make a Discord server where each week we'll, each week people having a quarantine birthday can join a digital party with everyone who's in the same boat. Go. That is the most wholesome idea you've ever had. The fuck's wrong with you? Who broke code? Who made him wholesome? Who did it? Who did it? Microblockanism, did you do it? Mac? Future Sands 53? Lex hat? The Alex hat? Shadow Dragon? Who broke vote? Who broke code? Who did it? Who fucking did this? I'll track you down. He's supposed to be cursed. Not the wholesome man who did it. Y'all on thin ice. Y'all on thin ice. All right. If you want to shock your audience, maybe you should try writing a good story. Damn! Honestly, in this day and age, a story having actual emotional continuity is the real shock twist. Preach! Damn. Damn. It coming at him hard and fast. Nice. Nice. I like it. It's a very good point, though. <laughs> Anxiety. Beware. Can you be more specific? Anxiety. Just smiley face. Just smiley face. No. I don't like this. I don't like this. No. No, this is a mood. This is a mood, and I hate it. I don't like that. Uh, Butterfly nested. We gotta turn goat off and turn goat back on again. I love it. Yes. Yes. Bigfoot. But fully shave, Mr. Clean. Post like this or I have anxiety. Y yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Base, bit, pretty much, yeah. Don't like that one. <laughs> I don't like that one more bit. No, 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 no. <laughs> Poison is a magical transmutation potion that transforms people into corpses. This knife is actually a magic wand. Meet me in the Denny's parking lot for a wizard duel. Cox gun. Magic missile. I think I read that one before. It's nice when that one comes back around, though. That's a good one. I like it. All right, we got 20 more minutes. Say it feels very slow for some reason. Fuck it. Vampire with gun. Count Glocula. Good. With Scarlet. Be proud of that pun. It's a good one. I didn't laugh on the outside. Inside, I laughed, but also died heavily inside. So, good, good for you. Good for you. Okay, let's see. Y'all motherfuckers want to fire Elsa so bad, but you don't even realize that this man already exists. I demand a dramatic musical number where he builds a castle made of honor. Yeah. Yeah. I want that. Oh. Okay. Do you ever just look at something and your brain goes, holy fuck, why? That's, uh, that's how I feel right now. You know, when your friends, when you and your friends look fresh as fuck. 
The Far Squad. Uh, Star Squad. I hate it. Oh, man. Don't. No. I don't like that. No. It's killing me. Oh, man. I hope our boy PM sees my comment because his way of pronouncing it good hurts me. Good! Good! Suffer. All right. Mm, let's see, we already did that one. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this episode. And this dude just had a cross for some reason. So there's a Jesus in Poker World? Yeah. Yeah, let's roll, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah, let's do it. Also, I just gotta, like, this was probably one of the funniest episodes ever. Just him, just like, I. I'm not a demon. I am a Pokemon. Um, also, he talked, which made left me to believe that all Ghastlies spoke. But apparently, this one was just special. Okay. Who was the man who first salted the slug? What was he thinking to try? Roaming the lands, pouring salt on God's creatures, hoping for which one would die. And that's why I sung it. I should have put the singing reverb on it, but you know. We just thinking in the moment. Just thinking in the moment. The uh, fuck? Uh, back the fuck up. What the fuck? Butch? Butch Harvey, what? The fuck is this shit? Um. Um. What? What? Ow! Zanny has a double side backpack or some shit. Why does he have straps on both sides? Does he keep there in case he gets lonely and wants to carry someone with him? Or fucking. <laughs> Guys, clearly, animation is somebody's passion right now. Just look at this. <laughs> Animators, if I could draw it for the plot, I will draw it for the plot. Okay. <laughs> Great. Perfect. I love it. The record scratch freeze frame. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got myself in this situation. <laughs> well, it all started when I went down the talk station to pick up some power converters. <laughs> that's... God, if Star Wars started this way, it would have been a gift from God. It's beautiful. Okay. Um, okay. Someone who hasn't seen Noragami, tell me what this looks like. Scooby and Shaggy escape from the hospitals and harass a young man on a phone who's ordering her pizza, but it's stingy and doesn't want to give them any. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. I, yeah. Yeah, that looks pretty accurate in my opinion. It's beautiful. All right. Me. I feel strongly that everything is bad. All my evidence supports this conclusion. Hmm. I have a counterpoint. Impossible. What is it, my cat? This is a good point. Oh, it's beautiful. Everything's good again. Damn. I love it. It's beautiful. Uh, moving out of the apartment. This is, without a doubt, the saddest photo I've ever seen in my entire life. I agree. Man. I would have left that there and just let all the other people handle that shit. Man. Man, that's sad. That's really well done, by the way. That's fucking good. Damn. Hold on, I just got- I have to admire this for a second. Damn. Look at this. Oh, it's beautiful. Nice. Alright. Seven million people in the seven uh, seven million people in the earth. They actually legit wrote that. Zero messages in my inbox. There's seven million. There's seven million in the earth. Free them. Release the people trapped inside the earth. Damn. Uh, if you're in an apartment, why would you draw on the wall? Because all right, so I've lived in a couple of apartments, and I've lived in my. Or I have the studio, we're basically the same deal. We have the security deposit. No matter what, even if my apartment was spot on clean, 
I never got my deposits back. So at that point, I'd be like, fuck it, just draw on the wall. It doesn't matter. If it's, especially when it's a map like that, you know, it's worth the, like the $250. All right. Let's see. Oh, cat burger. It's a cat burger. Cat burger. Welcome to the cat burger, home of the cat burger. May I take your cat? <laughs> oh, 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 look at that baby. Look at that baby. Look at this baby. Look at this baby. Look at this baby who doesn't know how burgers work. Oh, wait, that's being used. He's trying to, they can't do a double cat burger. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Uh, uh. I tried to clock out of work, and this is all the computer did. Don't leave. Oh, computer saved. No, don't go. Don't leave it. It has to be used by somebody else. And there, okay, we did that one last time. First of all, I say indignantly, with absolutely no idea where I'm going with this. Fucking mood. I say first of all with an immense amount of confidence, and then immediately forget what I was about to say. I say, first of all, even when I just have one singular point to make, second of all, fuck you is a follow-up. All of these are moods, and I love every single one of them. It's beautiful. Fantastic. Okay. Oh my god, the sniffles are getting bad. Ugh. Why? It's always a live show. I get sniffly. <clears throat> well, let's see. Let's see. Okay. First, she and Percy had to drink fire to stay alive. Then they were attacked by a gaggle of vampires led by a cheerleader Annabeth had killed two years ago. Finally, they were rescued by a titan janitor named Bob, who had Einstein hair, silver eyes, and wicked broom skills. Sure, why not? Imagine how weird this paragraph was down to someone who doesn't know the story. You know, I... Yeah, I don't fucking know. Is this Percy Jackson? Is this fucking Percy Jackson? Is that what this shit's about? Um... Somebody verify this for me. I don't fucking understand. Is this Percy Jackson? It's Percy Jackson. Okay. Wow. Uh, apparently, Percy Jackson is fucking master of writing. I like that. <laughs> A Titan janitor named Bob who has Einstein hair, silver eyes, and wicked broom skills. I love that sentence. Beautiful. Nice. Okay. Let's see. No, no, no. All right. Okay. Are we going to ignore the fact that this guy, who in one incarnation was raised by a tree, cannot hold the tree pose? I think he forgot his roots. Did it. You just, oh my god, oh my god. It's very funny that Link can't hold a tree pose. To be fair, I don't think the Deku tree could have taught him how to uh, do it anyway. He was a tree and also dead. Let's see. Uh, a dab for my diamond. <laughs> Cursed diamond. I hate it. I hate it and you all have to suffer now. Okay, where are we at? Ten more minutes, hopefully. I'm so exhausted. Oof. Okay. Imagine Avengers. Okay, hold up. Right. I gotta process this. I'm kind of red ahead. All right. Imagine the Avengers showing Pietro the Roadrunner cartoons, and for the next month, whenever Pietro races around the Avengers HQ. He pauses next to Wanda just long enough to whisper beep beep and giggle and dash away and even after he stops doing that becomes a recurring, recurring joke for the Avengers and during missions when he speeds by the others to knock out enemies there's a moment of stillness and they all whisper beep beep. There is no word to describe my love for this post. I... Man, why didn't that happen? Why was that not something that they let us have? Why did they only let Pietro last for one movie? Fucking sad. I'm sad now. Breaking news! People are fucking stupid. A new study reveals that most people are dumb as shit. Current pandemic has only made this image funnier. <laughs> it's 
fucking true. Oh man, I love it. <laughs> this is fucking so legit. There's just some posts that age well. I love it. Okay. NASA, we used to have nine planets, but now we have only eight. Pluto, stop telling everyone I'm not a planet. NASA, sometimes we can still hear its voice. Look, I'm not saying that demoting a planet named after the Roman god of death stoked his rage and brought down on his vengeful fury and retribution, but jesters and everything. Oh my god, they're right. Pluto's fucking pissed. Hey, he's coming. He's coming to get us. It's beautiful. Taking us down. Pluto's a dog, not a planet. That's even worse. Pluto the dog. He's got a vendetta against us. We're fucked. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. What if magic was real? But it was treated the way music is now, with different genres, and you're like, Oh, you're still in The Conjuring? That's cool, I guess. Recently, I've been getting into this third wave post-necromancy. It's some pretty heavy stuff. What do you mean you never heard of Fireball? It's a classic. Oh, man, I'm really not into evocations. And how can you not into be in any evocations? Well, it's kind of like dad magic, isn't it? Did you just fucking call Fireball dad magic? I... I'm fucking about to throw hands right now. The fuck you just say? The fuck you... I'm showing my age right now. You fucking, you fucking call him casting fire? Fucking dad magic? I'll throw down. I will throw down. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Remember, reminder that 30 isn't old. Thank you. It's very normal to not accomplish anything in your 20s. And that it's never too late to learn that you've always wanted to learn. You're always growing. That's a good thing. Well, shit. I'm sorry, I just... With all the shit that's been going on in my life right now, I actually really needed to hear that. Because I just turned 30. I felt like I'd done nothing. Fuck. Okay. Anyway, uh, who the hell accomplishes everything in their 20s? Who made that a thing? I was 48 when I started my apprenticeship to become a tattoo artist. I was 50 when I was married. Love. I went 50 when I married the love of my life. You got time. I needed this right now. I've got time. I didn't get my first book published until I was 38. At 53, I'm about to sign a contract for my 10th. You have time. Thank you for this. Seriously, all of this right now? Fuck, thank you. I actually really need to hear that. Whew. Okay. Ernie, how do I look? With your eyes, Bert. Uh, now I know why our generation is so sarcastic and cynical. Fuck, it's true. <laughs> I, okay, full disclosure. I think these two are the only reason I ever watched Sesame Street. The fucking comedy these two had. It's beautiful. Loved everything about it. All right. Uh, no, I'm not, that one's too sad. Can't counteract with that one. Um. I got a lot of beef with the concept of dust. Absolutely no reason for something to get dirty just because nothing has touched it. It's bullshit. I mean, to be fair, it's from space. So, uh, it's just your stuff collecting the power of space. I don't know. I'm just trying to make it feel better. Okay. Uh... My friends and I were watching this weird animated version of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer last night, and this one deer deer looks exactly like Bakugo. <laughs> oh my god. I cannot believe that they're right. Um, I feel like somebody should send this to Bakugo's voice actor and just make him, uh, just, just make him question things. <laughs> Clifford Chapman, I love you. You do a fantastic job as Bakugo, even though most people hate Bakugo. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, another one! <laughs> hey, Bert, have you seen my waste paper basket? Ask me that again and look into my eyes. <laughs> sometimes I'm Ernie, sometimes I'm Bert. <laughs> Fucking yes. I love it. That's great. Oh, perfect. Okay. 
Finally, a Minecraft Titanic. Words cannot sum up my love for Neil Shubin. Guys, Neil Shubin is the person who discovered a Titanic. Neil Shubin, actual paleontologist, discoverer of evolutionary link between land and sea, tweeted about a Minecraft mod that had his discovery in it. God bless you, Minecraft. God bless you. Not your piece of shit, but Minecraft, bless you. All right. <sighs> okay. I think this might be the last one, and then we're going to call it a day. Y'all don't want a, that pretty girl to stomp on you. Y'all want a long and drawn-out sword fight with flirty banter. Quit saying you want her to hit you with a truck. You want her to do the thing where she gently lifts your chin with her sword while your heart pounds out of your chest, and at the end, when she has you pinned against the wall with her blade to your throat, you want a heart rending confession with his declarations of your undying affection and for her to finally throw her weapon to the side and pull you into a passionate yet tender kiss stop fucking lying i think uh i think this this kind of post has a weight and fight sexuality in some people and i love it it's good it's great it's fucking awesome yes very very good very yes very, very good. Okay, uh, PM, sir, are you aware that you have big dad energy? I am fully aware, which is always hilarious because I am not a dad. Uh, ten more, please? Ten more? I got, we're almost, I only got three minutes left. We'll find one more. One more and then we're going to bed. Okay. Perfect. Lemony Snicket voice. The word poison here can mean many things. Poison may literally refer to the presence of an unwatched llama in the stream from which a nearby village likely collects its drinking water. Likewise, it may figuratively refer to the effect of greed and isolation on the priorities of a young ruler, or the machinations of a villainous royal advisor on the wealth, on the health and well-being of said young ruler. In this case, however, poison most literally refers to the poison, the poison for Cusco, <laughs> the poison chosen especially to kill Cusco. Cusco's poison. <laughs> that poison. I feel like I just, that is. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my heart. Oh my heart. Oh my god. This is, this is truly. I'm so glad I ended on this one. That is a gift. Oh boy. All right. Wow. That is. So that is this week's late night Tumblr post live. Damn. Thank you all for joining me for this madness. And as always, we will be doing this every Saturday from 12 to 1, uh, unless things happen. Um, and I will see you guys on Tuesday on Twitch for the next Skyrim Adventures. Bye-bye!